Hello and welcome to JasonNewland.com My name's Jason Newland and this is Jason's Bedtime Storytime Bedtime Storytime So the idea behind these stories is I'll pick a maybe a famous story from the past can't choose one from the future just yet and I adapt it so it may have the same title as you know an original story from let's say the Brothers Grimm as today's is but it'll be slightly different it will be adapted by moi and that's the only French attempt of talking I will do moi oh, I've never I don't know if I've said moi, referring to myself. Probably 1984 was the last time. Yeah. Anyway. So, today, I only listen when you can safely close your eyes. And today's story is going to be called Old Sultan. Smelly Old Sultan. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to read you the story now. So here we go. Once upon a time, long, long, long ago, before mobile phones and the internet, possibly before washing machines as well, I'm not sure what was really available back then. Probably fire. Fire was around. You could cook things. Sticks. There were lots of sticks around on the floor. Stones. Um, at night you could look at the stars. So there's no television. Or you could, if you really wanted some drama, you could do I don't know what could you do if you wanted drama back if you wanted to watch drama shadow puppets I guess against, <laughs> against the wall you know that used to be quite popular so I think they had roofs depending on where you live you might call it a roof that's the incorrect way to pronounce it. It's roof. R-O-O-F. Roof. And that's what a dog does. A dog goes roof, roof. Not roof, roof. Which is the correct term. The correct pronunciation. Mm. Now that I've lost that part of the audience, we can get on. Uh, a long time ago... A shepherd had a faithful dog called Sultan. Why would you call a dog Sultan? What's wrong with Rover? Sultan. That's not a real name for a dog, is it? That's a silly name for a dog. How? How? Why? Sultan. It sounds more like a breakfast cereal, doesn't it? Anyone want a bowl of Sultan? Yeah, not really, no. Okay. Anyway, his name is called Sultan. He was he he was very, very old. Very, very, very old. And this seems to be quite a prominent feature in the story. He'd lost all his teeth. Now, I've known quite a few old dogs. <laughs> um, dated a few. No, I've met. I've I've known quite a few old dogs, and I've never met any that have lost all their teeth. I mean, how would he eat? 
But anyway, apparently this dog had lost all his teeth for the sake of the story. And one day, when the shepherd and his... Lots of shepherds around back then, have you noticed? Lots of shepherds. <laughs> lots of, uh, well, you know, uh, ironmongers, carpenters, shepherds. Not many people working in call centres in these stories. Anyway. The shepherd and his wife were standing together in front of the house. And the shepherd said, I will shoot old Sultan tomorrow morning for he's, uh, he's of no use to us anymore. His wife said, uh, Pray, let the poor faithful creature live. He has served us well a great many years. And we ought to give him a livelihood for the rest of his days. But then the shepherd, remembering now that I should have done a voice for him, but I'll do it now. What can we do with him? said the shepherd. He has not a tooth in his head, and the thieves don't care for him at all. Yeah, fair enough, he has served us, but, but he did it to earn his livelihood. You know, he got something for it, and, didn't, and, and, and that's why he did it. But you know what? You know what, mate? Tomorrow... Tomorrow I'm going to shoot him. Shoot him dead. <laughs> well, Paul Sultan, who was lying close by them, he was literally, he was on, he was just next to them, being considerate, really. Um, I think if most people, if you heard that, you'd just be gone, wouldn't you? Just run, 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 run. He heard what the, uh, let's face it, his mum and dad had said. They were his parents. So his dad's talking about killing him, shooting him, because he ain't got no more teeth. Well, if that happened to humans, if you lost, lost your teeth, oh, yeah, I'm going to go and, you know, the dentist says, you'll be fine, we've removed the teeth, you'll be okay now. No, I won't. Why? Well, my dad's going to want to shoot me now, isn't he? You know, imagine that. Anyway, so uh, Sultan was listening to his mummy and daddy, the shepherd and uh, the his shepherd's wife. Don't know if she had a name. She might have actually been called the shepherd's wife. That might have been her christened name. And it just was coincidental that she <laughs> married a shepherd. I don't know. Oh... Uh, so um, after hearing all that stuff about being shotted by his mummy and daddy, he was very much frightened. I mean, you would be, wouldn't you? You wouldn't just listen to that and then think, oh, I feel I'll listen to some music now. Oh, I think I'll play hopscotch. No, you, you know, you're going to take it seriously. So what he did, in the evening, that evening, knowing that the next day he's going to be shot, he went and saw his good friend, bestest friend in the whole wide world, his groovy fella, his BF, BBF, BFF, GFF, I don't know, uh, the wolf. Again, in this story, he's just the wolf. Well, I think he should be called Clarence. So, yeah, he, he visited Clarence. And if the dog can be called Sultan, and the wolf is a big part of this story, why can't the wolf be called, have a name? The shepherd's called the shepherd. I mean, how does that work? The chances. Mind you, I suppose if you're 
the generational situation would be shepherds would have children and those children would become shepherds I suppose uh, and they would be they'd have to grow a beard perhaps they were born with beards back then I don't know <laughs> born with a beard a little curly stick Um. Oh my goodness, you've given birth to a pig. No, that's a curly stick. It's not anything weird. Oh, whew, blimey. You know, when's the last time you saw a pig being born that had a full beard? Yesterday. Okay, you always got an answer. So have you. Yeah, okay, you can leave it now. So can you. <laughs> Just, just let me go into the story. Yeah, why don't you? Well, I would if you stopped talking. You talk more than I do. Yeah, okay, we're just, I'm just going to just get on with it. Yeah, why don't you? Can you please stop talking? You talk more than me. So, Sultan. Yeah, what about Sultan? <laughs> shush, shush. Sultan. Oh, good. Sultan went and saw his good friend Clarence, the wolf. Wolf, wolf, wolf. Um, quite often, Clarence, he looked like a wolf, but he kind of, he had an inferiority complex. He, he had kind of a bit of dysmorphia thing going on and he didn't think that he looked like a wolf, but he really did look like a wolf. So in order to... Because uh, he, he just felt that no one else... Because he'd look in, in the, the lake, because that was his mirror. Because they didn't have mirrors uh, for wolves. <laughs> but he looked in a lake and he'd see himself. And sometimes... It was a little bit dim, to be fair. Sometimes he's like... Oh no, I've turned into a fish. No, there's just a fish swimming there, mate. Just wait a second. Yeah, now you can see yourself. Oh, blimey. And um, in order to let people know that he was a wolf, he would sort of tell everyone, I'm a wolf. That, that would be what he did. He just like, I'm a wolf, everyone. I'm Clarence the wolf. And like, yeah, we know, mate. We know. I'm walking along the road with you. I've known you for 15 years. I know that you're a wolf. Yes, uh, that's true. I am Clarence the Wolf. Yeah, but it's getting a bit boring now. Why do you keep mentioning that you're a wolf? Because I am a wolf. Yeah, we all know you're a wolf. I just, I just, why, why are you telling us? Well, I'm a wolf. So, if you ever, if, yeah, if you ever got a crossword puzzle and you're struggling with it, or you got like a bit of a difficult thing to figure out, don't ask a wolf. No offense, but they ain't the brainiest. Don't tell, but if they don't, don't say it to their face because they can take it. Well, they've got very sharp teeth. Very sharp. So, but not such a sharp wit. So, he went up to Clarence, and this is uh, Sultan. He keeps calling poor Sultan. No, Sultan. Let's. Let's not be a victim here. Come on, let's not go down the victim route. Oh, poor Sultan. Yeah, it's a horrible situation, but that's not going to get him out of it. Feeling sorry for himself is not going to be a solution in this moment. Oh, they're going to shoot me. They're going to shoot me. Yeah, yeah, they're going to shoot. Fair enough. Now, why are you still there is a question probably most people would ask. Why have you not run, run, run your little trotters and kept going? Because, believe it or not, some people, you know, farmers, 
are not well known for it, but there are people in the world that actually like dogs and don't expect them to earn a living for them. They just love dogs. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. Wherever, wherever I go, I'm going to be shotted. I'm going to be shotted because I've got no teeth, teeths. And um, it's hard to get anything through to him. Like, just come on, Sultan. Just, no, I can't. I'm going to get shotted. Shotted, shot, 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 shot. Okay, fair enough. Just, shh. The thing is, because he had no teeth, before he had the teeth, he used to talk, Yes, and uh, this is how I am. This is my name is Sultan. But when he lost, when he had his teeth taken out, or he lost them, I can't remember. Uh, it might have been in a poker game. And he just started talking like that. <laughs> so I, some people thought it was just like a, a gummy, a, a gummy version of his voice but I think he just lost his he lost his self esteem a little bit along the way he because um well he was he was in a punch up with another another dog and he went to growl at the dog and at that point he still had three teeth left and they all just flopped out of his mouth and fell on the floor and everybody was laughing the elephants uh eagles were flying over an eagle actually flew into a tree because he was laughing so heavily and so it was a very strange um situation as an uh, elephant laughed fell over crushed a lion it was it was funny not not for the lion obviously but um but there you go so, and I think his self-esteem was knocked a little bit by the the teeth situation or the 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 lack of teeth. And but he was still lovable. He was still a lovable dog. Oh, thank you. Okay, just just okay. So it's a very lovable dog. So he went and saw his friend Clarence the Wolf. Uh, who lived in the woods and told him all about his issue and said, like, his master, like, he's his dad, really, isn't it? My daddy wants to shoot me. Um, My ma. If you say master, it sounds very like robotic. My master wants to shoot me. I don't know why. It's something to do with my lack of teethies. So. Basically, the wolf, very cunning, very cunning, the cunning wolf, thought up a plan, a plan that could help his friend. But, like cunning people, they'll help you, but they're out for themselves. Cowardly, cunning scum, they're called in human terms. So they'll help you out, but there's there's always a debt to pay. There's always a there's always a you know there's always a reason behind why they're helping, and they're, it's the same with the wolf. But you didn't announce it until later on. But he had this plan which could help him, because it was all about him. If he could find a way to use uh, the little doggies problems to his own advantage he he was prepared to do that and so what he did and it was a pretty good plan pretty pretty good plan but um, you know i think the the dog or sultan should have been a a bit more aware of it but then he was his friend he didn't think that his friend was gonna take advantage of his situation but then the thing is, people like that, users that take advantage of other people, they don't really have any friends. They just have victims, people that they can take advantage of. 
And they'll keep them as friends for years, waiting for that opportunity where they can really, you know, steal off them or take advantage. So, yeah. But uh, everyone should have a scummy friend. <laughs> I've had many. So, like, I know what I'm talking about. So, here we go. The Paul Sultan. He was crying. He was crying and he was, he just, he didn't know what to do. And the wolf, Clarence the wolf was saying, oh, come on. I know how I can help you. Sultan said, how? Clarence the wolf, he said, uh. I'm Clarence the Wolf, and I reckon... Yeah, I know your name. Stop. I, I Clarence the Wolf, think I can help, and I have a plan. So, he told him his plan, and it's basically this. The next morning, early in the morning, uh... They planned for the wolf to come and steal the baby, the shepherds and shepherdesses baby, a runoff, and the dog, Sultan, was chase the wolf, and then the wolf would let go of the baby. And the wolf and you know, the dog he'd come back with a baby and he'd be a hero because he saved the baby. Well, this plan went to plan perfectly. Absolutely wonderful it was. I love it when a plan comes together. So, it was all good. And the owner, the shepherd, he said, Because of you saving my child, I got this one, Because you have saved my child, I have decided not to shoot you in the face. I feel this is very kind of me. It makes me feel like I'm a very wonderful person because I'm not killing you. So I hope you appreciate that you will not be killed today. Now, Sultan was really pleased. <clears throat> Very pleased. But a little bit confused. It was all right with it until his the shepherd said the word today. Well, I'm not going to kill you today. Does that mean you're still going to kill me? So, you know, he wasn't sure. So, you know, he thought, well, I just, I won't, I won't press the point because, you know, what would be the point, you know, if I started asking him what he meant, then that would open up clear communication and who wants that, eh? Who wants to really know what's really going on? Let's just keep it vague, you know, like uh, a lot of communication is so that neither party really understands what the other is saying or meaning and that suited them fine well the wolf Clarence as is his mentality and disgusting nature he decided that he was going to start stealing the shepherd's sheep and he said to said to uh, the Sultan, the Sultan, Sultan the dog. The wolf said to him, "Listen, mate, I've decided I'm going to start stealing the sheep, and <clears throat> I think you should just turn the other look, turn the other way, and just if, ignore what I'm doing because I've helped you. I'm the reason you're alive." And therefore, 
I think you should just allow me to steal the sheep because you owe me. Well, the the doggy Sultan said, "No, no. I am loyal to the shepherd." The shepherd's always been good to me. You know, bar that part when he was going to shoot me. But other than that, he's always been good to me. I will not. I will not, 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 not. Defy him. I will not go against him. I will not allow you to steal off of him. Him. Now, the f the f the uh, not the fox, the wolf. The wolf thought he was just joking. Like, <laughs> oh, you is funny. Oh, you jokes. Always, always jokes. You always, always jokes. Because he was uh, ten years old, <laughs> a ten-year-old, and used phrases like that. Oh, jokes. Always jokes. You, you can't finish, can't do a whole sentence. He tells jokes. Oh, jokes, he's got jokes. He he tells jokes, he's... He got jokes, jokes... No. How old are you? You look like an adult when you're saying stuff like this. Can't you do a whole sentence? Is it that complicated? Try reading a book. So anyway, the the wolf thought he was joking, and he came back that evening, started uh, stealing a sheep, and the shepherd came out and chucked a tin of beans at him, and it hit him on the head, the wolf, and he looked up. He was in shock. Not only did he see. Well, he was seeing stars, but then it was a really clear night. And and he's, he's like, what's going on? He didn't realise that the doggy, Sultan, had grasped him up to the shepherd. So the shepherd knew he was coming. He was all prepared with his tin of baked beans. Heinz, they were. Heinz baked beans. And he couldn't believe it. So he ran off, but in the meantime, he said, you know what, mate, me and you, we ain't friends no more. And I'm going to beat you up. Ooh, I'm going to beat you up. I'm going to knock your teeth. Okay, I'm going to beat you up anyway. So the next day, the sultan went into the into the forest to have it out with a wolf. He was like, come on then. Come on then. Come on then. What are you waiting for? Let's have it. Let's have it. Let's have it right. You're the one. <laughs> You're the one that stole. You're the one. You deserve to get a, a, a tin of beans on your noggin. You're the one. Let's have it right. Come on then. You want some? You want some? You made me so angry. I think I hate you. I've got hatred from here to here. I'm so angry. Come on then, Wolfie. Come on then, Wolfie. And the wolf said, uh, well, he was up in a tree hiding. Because, like most bullies, you know, he was a coward. And uh, like most scheming people like that, again, cowards, they hide. They don't want to be found out for what they really are. And the what was weird is the tree started. It looked like a tree was dripping, like it was uh, something was squirting out of the trees. But then he realised that the the wolf was doing a big, big poo, big diarrhea, because he was so scared and. Uh, Sultan went, ugh, because it was proper smelly. 
He said, Ugh. And the wolf said, Can we be friends again, please? And Sultan said, Okay, but you need to have a wash. And the wolf said, Yeah, I know. I know. Can you bring the can you bring the bath over to me? And Sultan says, Oh, I need to explain this to you again. It's a river. I can't bring the river to you. You have to go to the river. Oh, but I'm scared because I, I keep turning into a, I keep t I, I, the other day I turned into a fish. And Sultan said, uh, "Yeah, same thing happened to me. Someone was trying to make out this because there's a fish in there, but we know it's a mirror, don't we? We know that. We know." And then the wolf said to Sultan, he said, Sultan, can I ask you something? And Sultan said, yeah, go on then. Sultan said, uh, how are we going to end this story then? Because I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know how to end it. And Sultan said, uh, why does your voice keep changing? No, I mean, why does your voice keep changing? And the wolf said, well, yours, yours keeps changing too. And Sultan says, no, my voice doesn't. I think what we need is a character from this story to come back that's stuck to their voice. Shepherd? Yes, what would you like me to do? I think this is the best voice in the whole thing, and I have stuck to it all along. Is that what you want me to do? Yes, I think so. Yes. And uh, then Sultan, the doggy, uh, shot the shepherd. <laughs> so it all worked out fine. And he stole the, the, the shepherd's false teeth, put him in his own mouth, and went home and married the shepherd's wife because they always had a secret crush for each other. They always always had this special this special secret quiet loving feeling. They had this loving feeling. They had the loving feeling but now it's gone. Gone, gone. O, 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 O. But then it came back again. I mean, she uh, used to have, used to have arguments with the shepherd when he was alive, and she used to say, "Get out! Get out! Get out of my door! Don't come around now. You're not welcome anymore." And he'd go and the shepherd would sit on a swing and sing. Sandy, why can't you see? I'm in misery. No, no, no. All alone. There's something you can see. I don't know the rest of the words. I sit and wonder why I, I, O, oh, why. You left me, Mrs. Shepherd, Sandy. And Mrs. Shepherd, Sandy, that's her real name, we didn't mention it at the beginning because we didn't realise she had one. She'd be then walking around. Totally devoted. Feelings of total devotion. And this music would come. Do 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 Right. Maybe I'm not the first heartbroken. Maybe I'm not the first to cry. Da 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 but there's no getting over you. 
totally devoted to you. Now, usually you wouldn't use the word you twice to rhyme with itself, but it seemed to work. And she felt nostalgic. And she missed him not being there. But what she missed most, and she missed his beard. She loved that big, strawy, sticky, smelly beard of his. Because sometimes, you know, no matter how bad things got, uh, food-wise, and if they'd run out of food or all that, or she could always just go to his beard and put it open and it'd be a nice, a nice cooked meal stuck in there somewhere on a plate, nice and warm. Or if the heating had gone off, you know, central heating had gone off and it was really cold, she could, she could always climb into his beard and just snuggle up. He had a beard And it kept her warm He had a beard And it kept her warm He had some toes and he sometimes twinkled them. And you may wonder what twinkling means. And I wish I'd thought of that before I said it. So twinkling toes. Dancing on the ice of a river. Twinkling toes Making fish look for Their supper Thinking that maggots Were in the water But what they were really seeing was The shepherd's toes Because his toes looked like maggots he was such a good fisherman. All he had to do was put his feet into the river. But unfortunately, his toes were very sensitive. So when he got a bite of a fish, he would scream and that would scare all the fish away and they travel so far away so scared of the fisherman with his maggot toes but the maggot toes themselves they enjoyed playing the piano so they asked the shepherd would he please buy a piano so they can play it instead of being used to try and catch fish that had actually scarpered off because they were so scared when he would scream very loudly and the shepherd said no I don't want to buy a piano Besides pianos Haven't been invented yet But the little wormy toes Said in that case why don't you Invent a piano Yourself and the shepherd said, how can I invent a piano when I don't know what a piano is? Because they've not been invented yet. 
I need some kind of blueprint in order to invent a piano. Besides, what's the point in inventing a piano? Just to let my wormy feet play on it. And his wormy toes said, We might only be maggoty and wormy, but at least we can play musical instruments, which is more than you can do. And the shepherd said, Ha ha, but you try and catch sheepies. You try and keep sheep under control and safe from a wolf. But the maggots knew differently. Ooh. And the maggoty toes used to spy on the shepherd. And when the shepherd thought he was alone, he'd sometimes do handstands to himself. And he and he sometimes stuttered when he sung. And when he was standing on his hands, he used to pretend that he was a walrus, even though he'd never seen a walrus, or even heard one that existed. And the toes where he would watch him, and sometimes they would mock him, but he didn't even hear them because he had bits of paper in his ears. But nobody knew why he had that paper there in his ears. Nobody knew if this story will ever end because nobody cares about that paper that was in his ears or even about the maggoty toes on his hands his hands oh no not his hands uh, maggoty hands and maggoty feet they sometimes went on holiday together maggoty hands and maggoty feet they really 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 did love one another the maggoty hands and maggoty feet sometimes they would go and rob a bank ah, man, 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 man. that's what happens when you start a song and have Nothing to say, said the maggoty feet, mm -mm, and the maggoty hands, mm -mm, and the maggoty toes, mm -mm, and the maggoty bum, mm -mm, and the maggoty shepherd and wolf loved each other and they got married. and they lived happily ever after inside a baked bean factory. So that's the end of this story. I hope you enjoyed and thank you for listening. Now go to sleep. Now.